This is my friend Mackenzie. Hi, I'm Rachel. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm doing a New Year's video so late. And I know usually you don't have New Year's Eve video after New Year's Eve. <laughs> She's my butt. <laughs> but I still really wanted to get this video up because I thought it would be really, really cute. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to throw a DIY New Year's Eve party. But you can definitely use these DIYs for like other parties and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, we can just get on into the video. <laughs> First, we have chocolate covered Oreo cheesecake balls. So, I just took a couple of these birthday cake Oreos. You can use whatever Oreos you want, and I just put them in a plastic baggie and smashed them up. Once I was done with that, I went ahead and put it in a bowl and added a couple tablespoons of cream cheese to it and mixed that all up. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys any measurements because I basically just eyeballed it until I got the right consistency. And then once you have your mixture, you can just roll them into little balls and put them in the freezer for about an hour. Once they're out of the freezer, I just dipped them in some white chocolate and sprinkled some gold sugar over it and they are so delicious. And I can't sweep you off of your feet. Next are oven baked sparkler s'mores. And as it sounds, these are pretty self explanatory. All you're going to do is lay out graham crackers and chocolate and marshmallows onto a little platter and then you're going to bake that just until your marshmallow and your chocolate are all melted and gooey and then once it was done baking I just put our little tinsel toothpicks in it that I'm going to show you guys how to make and sprinkled some gold edible sugar on it to make the tinsel toothpicks you're obviously going to need tinsel and toothpicks so just snip a little bit of the tinsel off and then take your hot glue gun and put a little dab of glue on one end of the toothpick and just stick that tinsel on and it's super cute, it looks so festive and adorable. And now for the part you guys have probably been waiting for, the DIY photo booth. So this photo booth is super easy. All Bella and I did was take a black plastic tablecloth that you can literally get anywhere and we just taped it to the wall using some standard tape. And then once that was attached to the wall, we just took some gold tinsel and stapled that right to the top of our tablecloth. And then right above that, we hung our 2016 banner that I'm going to show you guys how to make right now. So I got this white and gold burlap from Walmart for literally $2 and I thought it was so cute and festive. So I just took my burlap and started out by cutting six even triangles. Once I had my triangles, I took a gold metallic sharpie and just wrote 2016 on four of the triangles. When I was done with that, I took some yellow and white baker's twine and then I basically just hot glued our little triangles to the string and boom, you got a super cute banner. And because I folded it over and hot glued it to make it more secure, I also had to snip off the little like edges that poked out. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. You can just basically look at what I'm doing and hopefully you guys can understand. Once we hung up our actual photo booth, we also put a little table right next to it and just put our photo booth props along with some sparkles. So what you wanna do? Making the photo booth props was super simple, so I just took a bunch of printouts of these New Year's like photo booth props and I'll leave a link to the ones I used down below. So I just put those on regular printer paper, cut them out, pasted them onto some cardstock and then also cut those out. Oh, oh. 
Then I found these really cute pink and white straws from Target for super cheap. They were in the dollar section. And I just took those and hot glued it right to the back of my photo booth props and bam, you have photo booth props. Super cute. So that is basically how you make a DIY photo booth. I think it came out super cute and my friends and I had a bunch of fun just taking pictures and everything. Thanks for watching! So we all hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Like, if you, yeah, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and comment down below any video suggestions you guys have. Tweet me or send me pictures on Instagram of your DIY photo booths or any of your treats if you do try this out because I think they came out really cute. Again, I'm sorry this is totally late for New Year's, but I just couldn't help myself and I filmed it really, really late. Instagram at Rachel's yeah. Zone At Ken's Rosie. So I'll have my Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, everything linked down below. I'll also link their Instagram because apparently they want followers. So happy 2016. I hope you guys had a great New Year and a great Christmas. So comment your New Year's resolutions down below because mine is always to like not eat junk food and then I end up on New Year's Eve on the couch eating a whole bucket of like potato chips or something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, also comment down below if you guys want more collabs with these lovelies because I love them so much. Okay, bye! Music goes, why? <laughs> wait, you Gabby. Thank you. Okay, wait, I got the outro. <laughs>